two pointers, one of the most commonly used techniques in programming, specifically optimization and coding interviews. We typically see it being used when attempting to optimize an O of n squared solution to O of n. The idea of two pointers is to maintain two indices and maintain some kind of invariant between these two indices. An invariant is something that we want to always hold true. Let's look at an example. Given a string s, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Typically, when we deal with problems mentioning substrings or subarrays, we want to think about two pointers. We start off with two pointers, pointer L and pointer R. The invariant I want to hold true in this case is that the substring created between pointers L and pointers R only contains unique characters. We start off with a frequency counter for each character and move or expand our right pointer while all the characters are unique. If we end up adding a repeated character, we move our left pointer until the character is no longer repeated. So what does the code look like? First, we create a set for the number of characters that we've already seen. Then we create our pointers L and R as well as an answer variable called longest substring. And we're going to keep doing this until R reaches the end of the string. Increase the frequency of the letter that R points to. And while the letter that the pointer R is pointing to is way too high, move the left pointer so that we reduce the frequency back to one. Next, we just update the longest substring that we've seen, which can be calculated from R minus L plus one. Move the right pointer to the right one more time and simply return the longest substring. Let's look at another example. Suppose we had four applicants and three apartments. Each person has a room size preference of 60, 45, 80, and 60, but the room sizes are 30, 60, and 75. Each person will accept any apartment whose size is close enough by plus minus five, and we want to know what's the maximum number of applicants that will get an apartment. First, we're going to sort the room preferences and the apartment sizes. Place a pointer on the apartments and the applicants. Keep moving the apartment pointer if it doesn't fit the current applicant's preference. If it fits the current applicant's preference, increase our answer, go to the next person, and deal with the next apartment. We sort the arrays because we know the applicants of larger preferences require apartments of larger size. So what does the code look like? K is the maximum allowed difference. First, sort the applicants and apartment sizes. Then create a pointer for the applicants, the apartments, as well as a counter for the number of people that can get an apartment. Then we go through all the applicants. While the apartment size is too small, move on to the next apartment, which is guaranteed to be greater than or equal to the current apartment since we sorted it. Now the apartment is either perfect or it's too big for the current applicant. So if it's perfect, then we just increase our counter by one and move on to the next applicant and apartment. And if it's too big, we just move on to the next person. Finally, just return the count, which is the number of people that will get an apartment. That's it for two pointers. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe.